Congratulations to all of the, the very deserving award recipients this afternoon. Um, the new century literally began as the best of times and the worst of times. Our 2000 census would show that for the first time in decades, we were experiencing sustained growth and with it the prosperity of jobs and a vibrant economy. New immigrants from around the world would fuel that growth, reversing a long slide. More New Yorkers were staying put rather than fleeing to the suburbs. It would also signal rapid changes in many of our neighborhoods that would strain our civic institutions and our housing stock. And of course, the attacks of September 11th would shake our city to the core. CHPC took on new issues like the need to redevelop our old industrial areas, examining gentrification's impact on neighborhoods, and planning for our region's future. The city's bold projection that the city would add one million more people by 2030 would challenge our thinking about housing. It led to our influential Making Room initiative, which showed that the housing needs of single people, recent college graduates, the elderly, or new immigrants, all were shaping our housing stock in a desperate attempt to fit in. I also want to echo the congratulations to CHPC, the staff, and, and all the award recipients um, on the 80th anniversary. It's a great day. And, um, Speaking about making room, it began as a symposium at the um, Japan Society and led to an exhibition at the Museum of the City of New York seen by over 150,000 people. I think they were all there the night I was there. Um, who can forget the impact of the amazing micro unit built by Resource Furniture, um, which was included in the exhibition? Um, our work triggered um, a dialogue in cities around the world and um, paved the way for the first um, micro unit um, building in Kipps Bay now called Car Carmel Place and the revision of the zoning resolution um, for the minimum apartment sizes. Our work on the building envelope rules and zoning showed that they were reduced, showed that they were reducing the affordable housing that was being built. Um, this has set the stage for city planning um, text changes that went into effect last year and are already yielding more housing units and improved design across the city. We've added the public debate, um, we've added to the public debate on finance, subsidies, and resources with our study um, called Pump Up the Volume on tax exempt bonds and our, and, and our, um, our game Inside the Rent which helps the public understand the complexity involved in keeping rents affordable in new buildings. And our latest game, Life of a Building, was launched this year and won a gaming award. Try to keep your rental building alive for 15 years and you will discover what many of you already know. It's very, very hard. Thank you. Um, thank you. Upcoming this year, Making Room is now going national with an exhibition at the National Building Museum in Washington, D.C. that will be opening in November. Beds, Books, and Basements, our civic dialogue series, has already featured a book talk by Natalie Moore about housing and segregation on the south side of Chicago, and discussions of our latest work, Hidden Housing on Basement Conversions and Sleeping Around, about short-term rentals like Airbnb and their effect on the housing market, have attracted new audiences for us and garnered a lot of discussion. Look out for our final talk of our civic series with Sarah William Goldhagen's new book, Welcome to Your World, about architecture and behavioral science, and the next phase of our Making Neighborhoods projects, which maps the changes in housing and people in our entire region. All of this work is inspired by our collaboration with our colleagues in government that was understood very keenly by Roger Starr. The validity of our work and the impact that it has, that results from the amazing New Yorkers who step in to public service, which is not an easy thing to do. So our next award, which is really an important one for us, is named for Roger Starr, and it's the Public Service Award. Richard Roberts will introduce Deputy Mayor Alicia Glenn. <laughs> 